Okay, so this is going to be the second video that you, well, the second map you sent me in the two hour, 18 minute video. So first, okay, so you're on Chalet, and something to note about Chalet is it is not a pro league map anymore. It used to be a pro league map, however, once teams really started coming together, like at the end of the, year, the first year of pro league, Maps that were really unbalanced became very obvious, and this is one of them, due to basically it's very easy to take control of the tops, the top floor, and just, it's, really that's it, it's just, it's way too easy to take control of areas of the map, and they're really, there's, arguably, there's three bomb sites which are viable, however, really, there, really there's only two. Or no, no, yeah, arguably there is three if you're playing with a five stack. However, two are basically viable in most people's eyes, being basically kitchen and basement with the, uh, uh, what is it? I think gaming room and bar being the other one. But anyway, let's begin with your... Safety device. 10 seconds to insertion. <coughs> so let's just begin by the taste. Five by looking at what you're doing. So, basic setup has happened. And um, four has located a bomb. Okay, so basic setup you have the wall open. Wall is open right here. You have that bandit. You have that wall reinforced and banditted. Uh, you're running a nitro cell. That's good. Overall, you have a decent lineup for this. You have Valkyrie for intelligence. Dock for fragging, bandit in order to stop them from just opening this wall from outside, and then smoke and echo for a counter plant. One thing I would say though <coughs> is on this on this site, it would be better to drop the echo and go for a Jaeger instead. The reasoning for that is it is very easy to take trophy room if you bring four grenades and there is no uh really if you just bring grenades a buck and there's no jaeger ads's because you have you can basically nade every the there's only really one ish safe spot which is located roughly like this general area right here you know not standing in the not standing in the doorway if you stand in the doorway you're just gonna get shot from the drone hole you, you know, a stupid angle exists. <coughs> but, really, that's just my thoughts. And if, I mean, if they're bringing a... If they start bringing nades, have someone switch to uh, Jaeger, because I believe you are actually five-stacking this, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, you are three-stacking this. Wait, no, maybe not. No, I see five. Okay, you were five stacking, so you can talk with your team. Alright, so. This position you're playing is actually relatively safe, because most people do not want to push that door. And then Doc is spawn killing. However, now you have too many people inside of Trophy. You have you, you have Echo, you have Valkyrie. And for some reason, Smoke is... Smoke is reinforcing garage. However, unless you have two people reinforcing garage, it's going to get opened and it's going to be taken very easily. One thing when you are playing with friends, you have to call them out about stuff that doesn't work. Because if you don't, they will... If you don't, then it's basically... Like, you're giving the enemy team advantages. You... So this was basically you just got gunned the fuck down because you missed shots and that's it you basically didn't you fucked up on head level and you missed some shots and because the mp7 really isn't that good when it, if you aim for bodies so really you just missed shots there and you kind of exposed yourself unnecessarily where instead of let's see one is a drone right here you completely missed <coughs> Two, 
you know that they're coming from this doorway. So wouldn't it have been better to instead of doing that... So you hear them. Instead, go to this doorway, put your head right here, leaning over here like this, and then aim at that doorway where you have some cover. You're in, you're gonna be much harder to kill and they, instead of simply walking into the middle, crouch walking into the middle of the open, and then getting gunned. Hey, Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, but I had to, I just had to deal with some random stuff. Uh, anyway, basically, you got killed here for two reasons. One, your positioning was kind of shit, and then your aim was also kind of shit. I mean, you hit her once by the look of it. And I want to actually see what your ping is here, because it... Op 4 located a bomb. Protect it. Yeah, I'm going to assume... Let's see, I want to... Okay, you're at 64 ping, which isn't horrendous. However, one thing is you don't want to get peaked at 64 ping. You want to be the peaker. So, yeah. And fucking SPD Deep Red Oni. You're running Blackbeard. Don't say it easy. You're literally, like, like running, Bla running Blackbeard and getting kills doesn't make you good. Yeah, like, this is what the... Basically... This is what the, that's what the Ying saw. And this, let's see, is what you saw. So basically you saw each other for roughly the same amount of time. However, in the end you just missed your shots. That's why I really suggest getting a larger mouse pad and lowering your sensitivity and then working on where head level is. Like just terrorist hunt, normal classic go around just 
figure out where the terrorists normally are, and then you can practice where head level is at different distances. So let's see, you get gunned, and I'm not even going to deal with what your teammates are doing. I'm just going to go... Actually, uh, let's see. Alright. So you, you know what? I will do your teammates just because it may help you later on. Op four located a bomb. Protected. Basically, don't be crouching when you're going for a fight. Stand straight up. Sag gets a kill. Yo. And then Smoke uses a smoke canister at not even a minute in. At the 55 second mark, he's down a smoke canister. And he's not running barbed wire even though he is even though he has a shotgun I mean the whole point of impacts is to make rotate holes but if you have a shotgun you don't have to make rotate holes so that makes no sense all right so Blackbeard is now how is that drone still there thank you thank you Sag wait are you pl oh wait no you didn't oh, shit. I was wondering why there were no points showing up, and then I realized they were dead, so yeah. Anyway, why Midnight Snow is playing there, I don't know. Doc, like, I guess he can play here. So, I mean, it's not like a terrible, terrible spot for him to play, but Smoke, I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, and basically, you lost this because Echo didn't know what the hell was going on, and yeah, Echo, so Echo should not have been playing here, he instead should have been playing over here in dining, where he could sit safely on his drone to stop this bomb planner, because your team's not gonna win with this Blackbeard here, like, I'm just saying, if you give me a Blackbeard in a 3v3 situation, where the bomb is planted for me and I ha all I have to deal with is a slit when it comes to shooting people. That's just that's just easy wins. Located the diffuser, destroy it. So now it's a 3v2. One op four remaining. 3v1. Okay, so you actually have a chance of winning this. So okay, you should your team should really win this at this point. How you don't, I am now going to figure out because that was a very good retake because you managed to turn it into a 3v1 situation. You also know the Blackbeard's positioning. Oh, that is just bad. That's just bad luck from Kyojin. Oh, that is really, really just bad luck because the Oh, uh, the smoke canister is what killed him. That's just... That's just bad luck. Really, that was a goodish... That was a somewhat good play on both their parts. However, if smoke... Probably smoke should have been the one defusing with Echo while holding the angle. Because smoke would have been immune to his Echo and gas grenades. So basically... Smoke should be disabling while Echo is holding an angle onto here for the Blackbeard to peek as the Doc jumps out the window in order to peek Blackbeard as well. But instead, Smoke kind of fucked it all up. Which, I mean, it wasn't on purpose, but... Mission failed. All friendlies were eliminated. So how fast that easy came out. Yeah, this is just... Yeah, really, that was just midnight kind of fucked you guys. And then it's a Blackbeard, so. But I mean, even the Blackbeard thing wasn't the issue. It was just. That was literally just your team kind of fucked it up. Okay, so. Twitch, Thermite, Buck, and Capital. I can agree with all of those picks. Mainly because Twitch brings so much fragging power and can also get rid of so many electronics she's really useful thermite you need a thermite or hibana thermite's better on this map uh, buck well uh, therm hold on thermite is actually better on a f he's better on basement because the only real way to attack basement is to go through wine cellar 
and the uh, yeah so you need to open up closet and the wall which his face is garage then you have capital capital is just an overall great operator and then IQ so the IQ is questionable unless they're running like a lot of uh, Intel operators however an operator like glass would have been much more efficient because if you have capital IQ you have I mean capital and glass you have four smokes which can buy a lot of time and that can just be really really strong I mean, that's mainly for a downstairs push, however, they're probably going to go upstairs. But I'm playing on Gorbachev right now. Okay, so let's see this. So you know that they are not where they're not at. You know they are not in kitchen. And I'm assuming that they're... Yes, okay. So you know their basement, and... <laughs> Let's see. So you know their basement, but your team doesn't really know how to attack this. So this is kind of a bad five stack you have going, mainly because you need to be working together. So you have one, two, three people all spawning by themselves, with two people kind of spawning where you need to be. So this is kind of due to, at low level, you don't really know strategy too well, which makes sense. I mean, it, it's just the way it is. But for this map, base, the basic strategy is everybody spawns here. Then everybody will work their way down to roughly about here. At which point, Buck will go over here, open up this garage wall as it's being droned by either the IQ or the Twitch. Actually, no, as it's being droned by either Capital or Thermite, as those are really the two support operators you need alive. So like put them say, probably like here and here. So with that, you then, so you put Buck, yeah, I wanna get like more dots. Let's see here. So basically you would put, you do this. You'd put Buck and someone else right there then you would put, say, IQ or someone else right there, and then you would put Capital and Thermite right there. So the reasoning for this is basically the buck is going to open up the garage wall as IQ drones out the garage wall, I mean the garage area. By droning out the garage area, you can assume, you can figure out if it's safe, shoot out the wall, take garage. With garage control, you then drone down the hallway right here, which then you have, if I, actually I'm thinking I'm a little bit, I am thinking I'm actually really off at this point, but, yeah, I'm really off, but basically, you put two bodies here and here in order to open up garage and if somebody's inside of it, you have two people who can aim inside, and you have a third person right here who can open up this wall and aim inside. So you have basically three people all attacking garage. So if you do that correctly, there's no way in hell someone's going to actually be able to survive there. So once you have garage control, you would put, <coughs> you really would put the, probably the IQ, whoever, probably the IQ, would stay inside of garage and would hold an angle down the hallway into sight. Now Thermite and Capital, really everybody else actually, would come over to this area. And the point of that is you'd have one person here who you hold outside and you watch the stairs for anybody coming down. You then would have the thermite open open up the wall the is down in wine cellar you have that closet area he opens up that closet wall and then he opens up kind of the wall roughly right here which gives it the IQ an angle straight into the room 
So because of that, they cannot play. You can then kind of take the fight on. You can take the fight for closet control. And once you have closet control, you can go and plant by the closet wall. And it's basically impossible to really contest. However, you have three people all spawning elsewhere. So let's see what happens. Okay. You're going for a top floor control. I'll tell you right now, you have no reason to take top floor control on this site. The reasoning is that it's not possible for them to play vertically well enough in order to actually stop a plant going down if you take it from wine cellar. Also, you're entering by yourself. Okay, let's actually see this now. So basically, no one on your team knows how to really strap call is what I'm saying. Twitch gets gun okay. Twitch gets gunned by the cav. However, n you don't react to that at all. Instead, you rep and say you continuously repel. You don't drone bathroom. There could be a cav in bathroom. Now you know where Cav's positioning is, and you have someone down by them. You still don't know if bathroom is clear. You don't know if there's a rotate hole. You don't know if there's anybody upstairs. You don't know if anybody's holding that angle, which you're peeking right now. Right, my roommate walked in. Uh, apparently, there are now phone cases which you can play Game Boy games on. I don't mean Game Boy games on your phone. No, I mean your literal phone case will play them. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Anyway, so you're kind of top clearing. You're clearing from above when three of your members are... Three of your members are over here. I am terrible. Dear God. Uh, a week without using your mouse. <coughs> so, three of your members are over here. And one member is down in garage with a calf. And you're upstairs roam clearing. I'm just telling you, that's not gonna end well. You must recover the diffuser. Alright, Kyojin now just got gunned. You just droned out some on stairs. I'm not even sure if you noticed. They now know your position. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Holding an angle when you literally have when you, the entire enemy team has wall hacks on you is dumb as fuck. Like, holy shit, is that dumb. They know where you are. Get the fuck out of there. Friendly, last but you get your kill. What are you working on? So they just threw fucking hard. You can win this. You can win this because you you may have a drone. You you have the ability to win this if you can play this correctly. So you get you have two drones as well. Okay. You don't fucking drone yourself. There's no purpose of that. Just there's, there's much faster ways you could be doing this. You have 50 seconds. You either you need, either need the diffuser or you need to kill. So he's either going to be in sight or watching the diffuser. You can figure out which pretty easily. 
and you have fell down instead of jumping. I understand probably just fat fingered a bit, but. You now don't have any information. The site is literally there. I don't know why you're checking all of kitchen. You know it's you know it was clear, but fifteen seconds remaining. The diffuser has been recovered. Ten seconds. You see him? Five seconds left. What can you do? Good job. So you kind of wasted a lot of time there. You were at like the 50 second mark. And what you really sh and what you should have done is made a decision of either go for the diffuser or go for the kill. Now, it's kind of a 50-50 because you're not, probably not going to be able to plant this bomb. However, you don't know if the maestro is watching the diffuser. Now, you just gunned down in a 1v4. You gunned down three of them. So this guy's probably gonna be trying to play passive as fuck. So you could kind of assume that he was gonna be playing on site, and you should have focused on that rather than going for the uh, going for the diffuser. Now, one thing to note, well, not one thing. Yeah, so basically, you should have really played more for the kill than for the diffuser, because in a one v one, it's very hard to get the bomb down, and it the main purpose of the bomb is. Like, if you put that down, you're if you're trying to put it down to 1v1, you're either trying to bait out the team, bait, I mean, bait out the enemy to come, and at which point you get off of it and just shoot them, or you get the, uh, or you get, or you're just in a situation where you have, like, two seconds left, and you're going for a desperate plant, or you know he's so far away he can't contest you. So that's kind of the thing. So, but basically, you kind of... You weren't sure whether how you wanted to go about it, so instead of just going for the diffuser first and then pushing for the kill and probably having 20 seconds or 25, you made it so you would have five. But in the end, you still won. So <coughs> overall, it was a decent, decent job by you when it came to actually shooting stuff. However, don't think this is a good play on your part this is the enemy throne. If all four of them had just held sight, barricaded, you'd lose. Op four eliminated. Friendly mission successful. And your team needs to talk more. And you also you need to come in a bit. You need to come in with your crosshair placement better because if this guy was good, he would be holding this angle right here, or he would be holding like. He'd be hiding by the dumpsters, or he'd be holding an angle right here. Instead, he just lays down and says, I hope for the best, but he soon learned that snowmobile is not really cover. But basically, that's a tilter. That is a tilter for the enemy team. And while I say that, I need to go turn up the temperature because it is cold as fuck here. Okay, so basically it's now one on one, it's one to one, even though it should not be, you did, you guys should not have won that, but who cares, you won. So now let's go on to the next round. You're going downstairs, so you got a lot of choices. You're, you're a hard picking bandit. Good choice for here. However, you almost need two anti-denial breach, anti-breachers or denial, denial, I don't even know what their type is called. They're, they deny the hard breacher. Anti-breachers is what I like calling them. But basically, I like running uh, Cade, mainly because he gets the ability to, uh, uh, well actually, 
Uh, it really depends on the attack. Because old school, like year one, year two, it was take the hatches. Well, now at high level, it's take is a wine cellar push. We don't have to take hatches. So it's kind of hard to explain, but... Well, not really explain, but it's... It's hard to choose which operators to go when you don't know the push the enemy is going. But really, Bandit's a good choice overall, as is Maestro. Mira also is a very good choice. Rook is not. Cav is not. I think I think Sagi is just... I think he's a little tilted that he got interrogated. And because of that, he wants to get an interrogation just as a fuck you right back. And a smoke. Okay. So really the main issue here is the cav and the rook. You almost need a mira on this site. And a mute would also help tremendously. Just because of uh Yeah. Yeah, basically like another basically a mira because you almost need her in order to know when to peek the uh if in case they go for a garage push. And then it also stops any wine cellar pushes if you can bandit trick the wall to in closet. So yeah, and then mute can just mute things, force Thatchers out. However, a Jaeger would also be useful here because the enemy team is running Ying and a good Ying player will fuck you up. Like there is a pro player named Hungry who was literally the best Ying in the world. And I think like 80% of the time or something, or 90% of the time, Ying was banned whenever they were playing against Hungry because they just said, we're not dealing with that bullshit. So. That's kind of what counter stratting is. Okay, so let's see what your team does. Dear God, 1,500 ping. Okay, whatever Midnight is saying right now, you do not listen to it. You reinforce that fucking wall. Like, I understand he wants to do a run out, however, that's not really a smart run out. Oh, goodbye. Alright, so now. Okay, so here, let me show you the basic reinforcement setups you get up you get here. So you get one right here. I think one covers the entire wall. I'm not 100% sure. But the reason is that is a very powerful angle, which, well, if you don't have it, it cuts off. Well, basically, if you can open up this wall, it cuts off playing 90% of this area. Then you're going to put one on the right side of this wall and two on the right side of that wall. And basically, the reasoning for that is it, it lets you put a mirror window on right here facing the door which it makes it so you cannot plant anywhere in this area which also and then if you put a shield roughly right here facing kind of the doorway it lets someone play right here you can also impact this shelf out I believe it just gets completely destroyed which lets you push in another foot into that corner I don't even know the wall. Micro adjustments. Op four has located a bomb. Mr. Pringles, you gotta get out of there. You gotta get the fuck out of there. And someone needs to reinforce that. There we go. Okay. The game can't hurt you. That might have been grenade though. That can't. Located by Op Four.
think he's mavericking you. No? Oh, I thought I heard the Maverick Torch. Okay, so one thing is that you have to be very careful of basically... The only angle you really need to be careful of is blue. So playing this position, this blue hallway, is... It's going to get you killed like 80% of the time when you're bandit tricking here. Like, well not 80% of the time, but 80% of your deaths are going to be from blue. And then... The other 20% are going to be from a Maverick who Maverick's behind you. So, but really, you need to be kind of paying attention a bit more to the... Eh. You know, I can't really say that. It's... Yeah, basically, you should just be paying attention to that. Now, this is good on your part. Okay, your team's getting gunned to look behind you. Okay, that was from main stairs. You know it was. Main stairs. Here we go. Good kill. That was okay, that was a good kill on your part. Because you did not take the gunfight. You got him into a position where he couldn't really escape from, and then killed him in a way that he could not really react or counter. Now, if he heard, if he was smart, he would have heard the rip of that nitro and he would have backed the fuck off, but he didn't. So you got a kill. So that was a good kill on your part. Alright, see, there's Blue. Okay, so you know she's under. Oh. Okay, so one thing is that you're playing at 60 ping and that does kind of suck. Like, when it comes to holding angles. Like, I hate holding angles at 40 ping. So, I'm still 20 ping lower than you. And I hate it. So, I'd say... And your position was also kind of known. So, you could have... You should have really gone for a bit more of an off angle there. Where, instead of holding the way that you did... Let's see if I can get a... Instead of holding this, you should have either been laying down kind of right about... Like, you should have been laying down and holding an angle... Or you should have uh, been using the trash can behind you, standing up and holding an angle. I want to see if she... ah, I don't get a kill cam. One friendly remaining. standing okay so one thing about cav there good she got a flank she got the kill but she should have backed off and tried to force out the plant at 24 seconds if you can get cav is well cav is not really very she's very strong at close range because of her pistol however you need to know when to back off and this is with every offer here, when to back off and when to push forwards if you get the kill and stop the plant then great you've done your job now get back and waste more time. She kind of just holds an angle though. And however, she does get the kill. So I want to see the kill. Yeah, basically she, if the, if I don't even know who she went against, maybe the Ying. If the Ying had better crosshair play, well not better crosshair placement, but better reactions and like knew more about and like had heard the cab laying down, she probably could have won that gunfight because Cav's SMG is terrible. Like, it really is. And how is your mouse here? Who knows? Okay, so let's see. If I remember you, wait, did you win? No, okay, so you actually don't know where they're going to, uh, Wait, you don't, I think you don't know where they're going to defend because you won their first defensive round. So really you don't know. So overall, this is actually a pretty decent setup. I'd replace the Hibana with a Thermite 
just because it's easier to open the walls that are needed. Maverick, though, eh, it, he's arguable at times, but yeah, I, I'd replace the Maverick because most of the time you don't want to do a garage push. And you have Buck, Cap, Zofia, they're all good operators here. It's really just whether or not your the people on your team can kind of utilize them to their best. Ten seconds to go. Now, the diffuser is no longer in your possession. Let's see, you spawn over here. Nobody wants to take control of the diffuser. As hard preacher, you should basically be taking control of the diffuser. That's kind of your thing. And I'm telling you, you do not need to, uh, you, have dropped the diffuser. you don't need to roam clear if you're attacking secured. from the back. That was from below, that was sag saggy going. But one thing, they were running a cab last round. You don't know three of their operators, so they could still have a cab, and you really haven't done much droning in this general area. You've droned the room. However, that's about it. So, a cab can very easily just be hiding around here, waiting for you. That was, I mean, that was unintentionally good. Basically, your buck and your capital forced the droned out the Jaeger and forced him to flee. And then, as he was fleeing, he decided to go through kitchen and dining, thinking, oh, "Okay, nobody's gonna be there." But you were there to watch any of the rotations. So that was, that was kind of good, kind of not. So like for this level of team, I'd say, like if that was intentional, that was good. However. You're risking a lot trying to do this because your capital is at 5 HP and your buck's at 40 or 50. So, I mean, you got the kills, but that's still very dangerous and it could easily be a 3v5 right now. Anyway, you got your kills. You also dropped the diffuser. Knock, knock. Wait, oh, oh no, you didn't have the. Wait, did you not have the diffuser? I'm trying to figure out who has the diffuser. Ah, uh, Zofia. Yeah, drones, use them. Right, the thing is, you can probably assume you have top down control. Well, you can assume you have top control because you killed two roamers, and most likely you have three people on site. That's normally what I do. Sometimes I'm wrong, but normally I'm right on this. You also. Okay, you're getting this hatch first. Time to ring from the ears. Okay, so you're basically going for an old school strategy where you basically you open up garage and you open up the hatches. Now the problem with this is that somebody can be flanking you. Okay, you're in a terrible position because if someone comes up the stairs from uh, from wine and they just turn into that hallway, you're you're done. You're dead. And that's what I'd be doing. If I if we were in a 3v3 and I know they were attacking one way, I'd be going for flanks. Alright, but now you know that there are three people downstairs, and you know their positionings. <laughs> you gun one, you expose yourself to the mirror window. You located a bomb. And then, yeah, you kind of just rush in without really knowing all the everything that was going on with the positionings, and your team. Like, I mean, they're playing really passive because they're both a one-shot. But really, that was mainly down to the Zofia losing the diffuser on her own. Seconds remaining. Yep, doesn't... Doesn't know the common angles. Five seconds remaining. But can't control recoil. Ah, he misses. Yeah, so basically... Zofia lost the diffuser, which means that... Which meant that your team had to kind of go for fights. However, everybody was really lit up, so you couldn't win them. So really, that was just a... 
that was just really one person kind of fucking you over. It happens. You get over it. But overall, like, you gotta use your drone more, and I'm, I'm hoping you're making callouts in Discord or something, and your chat and your recordings just aren't um, recording it. Because your entire team should have known, okay, they're here, they're there. Buck should have opened up this wall more. One of them should have wrote, run into closet. But you kind of got a little too hasty at the end, where you get your kill on the Cade. Right here. You then run in front of a mirror window, which you droned out. You then get shot from a bandit. And then, yeah, you just get gunned down. Basically, you take. You have to clear angles one at a time. If you don't have a drone, you really just have to be peeking one angle at a time and going little by little. Where, let's see if I can. So basically, I want to try and get this to show you. So here, you should just be running right past this hall. Well, you shouldn't even be exposing yourself to this hall because this is just a death sentence. And it's kind of the issue, like... Now, you got shot by a mirror and a bandit, so your, t your t uh, two other guys should be saying, Okay, yeah, we know where they are. Let's go for these kills. Okay. So, let's start with this. This wall is soft, but overall it is not open. This door is somewhat open, but overall it's relatively close, like minus this spot. This wall is soft, but closed, which means your first angle is gonna be someone hiding behind here, which means that's really the only thing you need to be worrying about at this point. The problem is you just rush in. So the guy holding there, Get some kills and also you crouch down crouching just makes you slower don't crouch down in the middle of a gunfight unless you actually know what you're doing with it just stay standing straight up for now and then your team's playing passive as all hell even though you don't have the diffuser maverick gets gunned and the other guy gets gunned okay so now you're down to lesion I mean, they're running Ying, so Jaeger would probably have been a better choice. At 10 seconds on this, at 8 seconds on this map, you cannot be throwing Valkyrie cameras out, or else you're gonna get one tapped by a fucking pistol. God, this SPD guy really needs to shut the fuck up, like. He really does. Like here, I wanna I wanna see something. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's like the average gold silver player that loses and dies more than he wins and gets kills, so yeah, not sure why he's trying to say easy and shit, because he really isn't going to be. Like, he, like he, he's saying easy because it's probably, this is the only way he actually gets enjoyment out of the game. Anyway. We're probably been there to put that a little bit further into the doorway. However, they have window control, and maybe you thought they can see me from there, which they can, and you didn't want to expose yourself. Okay, so Doc gets gunned. I don't even know where Doc was, but he does. It's now a 3v5. Yeah, defense on this map just sucks. That one's not gonna do shit. Throw it in like this doorway. <laughs> I 
you shouldn't have shot. That gives away positioning. Now he knows your relative angle. And now he knows, yeah, he just knows your positioning now. If you're going to go for him, you should have been trying to crouch up almost. And then as you're getting closer, you stand up and swing. Alright, you get killed, so good job on you from there. Problem is it's now a one versus three, and you're blinded. At this point, you just crouch down. You get a good kill on there due to crosshair placement. You get a good kill on Massive. I don't know what the hell he was looking at. Oh, and you get killed by him. Damn. Basically, that was the, we're going to throw bodies at you. Aren't the kill cams just the best? But, I mean, really, you're in a 1v3, 1v4, you shouldn't have won it anyways, but... I mean, overall, decently done. The one change I would have been, instead of standing up and going for that fight against the Zofia... Actually, no, that wouldn't have worked either, so... I would have probably tried to hold the same angle that you were holding for the uh, for the Hibana kill, where I think it was like Massive Cock or something, is that Massive Cook, whatever it was, Massive. He uh, just hold that angle and listen for sound cues, because I would assume someone's holding an angle on me. I wish they were, but... Overall, decently done, you hit your shots. Your team didn't, though, so... I'm assuming you're waiting to see what's going on. Really, okay, here's the thing. You can go whoever the fuck you want to go. If you're leading the, if you've hit double digit kills and you're leading your team, you can pick whoever you want to pick. That is, that is your right as top fragger. Top fragger gets to play whoever he wants to play. Yeah, bottom fragger gets to play whoever top fragger wants him to play. That's the way this works. So basically, okay, so basically you should be you can play whoever you want to play. The rest of your team should be playing basically Thermite Thatcher, Twitch, and Buck. Thermite Thatcher, Twitch, Buck? Yeah. Yeah, those other four because it lets you take basically every site. It lets you take the mirror windows. Someone's mad and I feel like Saggy is just going everybody who kills him. Like, he dies the Cav goes Cav, dies the Ying goes Ying. I think. Yeah, that's not the best. But you at least get a Thermite. But you better hope to God they don't run Bandit or Cade, even though they run both Bandit and Cade. Or else you're not going to be able to do shit. So basically what I would say is, your team needs to drop the Ying and the Nomad, because the Nomad isn't necessary on this map due to how how skinny it is it's very easy to just hold one angle and you can take control of half the top floor and that's the only half you need so nomad overall isn't necessary then ying <sighs> ying is someone you go if you have an actual like strategy however i'm gonna assume that set i assume that saggy doesn't have a strategy for ying because he's hopping on and off a bunch of different operators i think he was twitched for a round or two it's, Cav for some, then now he's on Ying, so I think he's just kind of going with the flow. Thermite is one in five right now, however, he accepts he's one in five, so he's so he says, Okay, yeah, I'll go with Thermite. Good player there. Kyojin is one in five and goes buck, however, you kind of need a buck on this map, so overall, not a bad decision. All right, so let's see, where are they holding? They are holding. Okay, so they're holding upstairs. Did they win both their defenses against you? I don't think they did. Why are they upstairs? I know they won downstairs. But... I'm confused. Oh, well. Insertion in five seconds. Anyway, you know they're upstairs, so basically your spawn 
Midnights and Kyojins are terrible. They are atrocious spawns that you all should feel sorry about. If you ever... A lot of improving in this game, in Siege, is about making the, making the necessary adaptations whenever you encounter new information. That's really it. So with knowing that... I want to see if I can get like a top-down view here. I mean, I can because I, you have to pick your spawn. Okay. Wait, don't you have to pick spawn first? Yes. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. Basically, the easiest way to take the top floor is you have everybody spawn over here. Now, what you are going to do is Nomad is basically going to make life hell for people. She's going to be playing this balcony with her nomad charges down there now this is actually a good nomad pick for this site i love nomad on this site because you can get so many easy kills just baiting runouts from the door right here it was basically she just repels here puts a nomad down waits for someone to run out they run out hit the nomad she kills them puts another nomad down maybe another person runs out and if that happens then bam you know 5v3 or at best a 5v4 or at worst, you're in a 5v5, and you know that nobody can run out on you. So that's still a very powerful position. Then you put one person... Rep so basically, that is Nomad's job, where she's going to be repelling right here. Then you put someone else right there. Their goal is to look in through the bathroom window, not uh, through the main door right here, into bathroom which will allow them to literally just get a... They'll just allow them to hold the bathroom because a lot of people like peeking bathroom door. Well, if you're peeking bathroom door and you don't know where their head is, you're going to be in for a bad time. So basically, Nomad is peeking kind of this slash this. Because she can... There's normally a rotate hole between bomb sites, so she can, from this position, can see a lot. And this person holding bathroom, you've now cut off the majority of sight. So now, depending on their setup, which I'm going to have to see later, but that's really it. It's A lot of this is just you brute force your way through from the balcony into sight, just winning gunfights. And that's a, a lot of it, in all honesty. Now, you go sledge because you want to go sledge. But anyway, the problem is now you've spawned all the way across the map, which just exposes you to spawn kills. Well... Thermite's over here now, I don't know why. You need to be checking windows. Be like this door, this window, this window, this door, this window. People can all be people can all kill you from there. Hey look. Ah. I could try on the name. But I'm going to tell you this right now. You do not want to be peeking just with this. They're going to see this repel line. They're probably going to be able to get you. That was good on your part. You pre-fired. However, this is the angle. You're seeing almost nothing. So you're really not going to be able to do much from here. And I actually need to go to the restroom. So I'm going to go there for a minute. And I'll be right back.
Right, I'm back. So basically, you're you're reacting to the person who is opening up that door. However, you're not really going to be able to do much from this position. And attacking from this balcony is kind of stupid because it you can get gunned down pretty easily. No, I'm actually curious. Let's see. Does anyone actually peek you? Yeah. But basically, the issue right now is you're not doing shit right here. Like, you're really not. You're holding, like, a sliver where nobody goes. Yeah. So really, you need to be able to say, I can't, I'm not going to do shit here. Also, that, that barbed wire is electrified, so it's kind of easy. You got shot through the window. That was actually a good play on that guy's part. Like, I will give it to him. That was a good play. And I think you... Oh, no. Valkyrie did that. Now they have Diffuse. So that's why you don't go balcony. It's pretty easy to contest you from either the doorway or you can just shoot through the big windows. Either way works. So it's, that's why everybody goes for a master push. And I want to actually see their setup here. Okay. So... This is soft, this is soft, everything is soft. This is a dream come true. The mo Basically, the moment they don't have a mirror, you're golden. Because, really, all you needed to do was clear bathroom, have somebody shoot open here, have, like, two people... Hell, no, you have, like, two people watching this hallway after it's been shot open... While somebody is planting behind here, while somebody watches bathroom and somebody watches the other bomb site rotate hole, and you win. And that is closed off. Oh my god. This is, I'm sorry, this is just a like terrible setup. This is a god awful setup. Literally, if you need let me know if you want me to uh if you want me to show you basic setups for each map. Because I know the majority of all the maps in this game, and I can show you the setups that can work. Okay, right, Kyojin, you should not be doing this. You should just be... One friendly... <sighs> that was not the play, Stop Kyojin. Remaining. And Mr. Pringles, crouch walking isn't... isn't the play either. Heck. <laughs> SPD guy is really a shit talker, even though he's only like six and four. And then Mr. Pringles exposes himself. So basically, in all honesty, that was kind of your fault that you lost that round. You need to be able to drone the site and see what their setup is. Because knowing their setup, you can know how to adapt to it. If I knew that they didn't have a rotate hole right there, and they didn't have anyone in bathroom, i just run in and plant. However, you didn't know that, that and you kind of just went on to ba you went on to bal the balcony area, and you basically just fucked over your team by doing that. So, really, that was just that was kind of just a fuck up on your part. It happens. I mean, you got shot through a wall, and then this guy just says easy all the time to tilt people. Even though you know he's good old Goldilocks. Yeah, really. You went into you kind of attacked it incorrectly, and you went to a bad spot, and because of that, you were you basically got gunned down. Now you, I mean, you did overall you did well, ten and five. I mean that's so that's better than well. You had some impactless frags. Impactless frags basically means it's like a four v one, and you get three of them but die. Or and you still lose the round. You get the kill, sure, but you lose the round, so overall the amount of kills you got didn't matter. But overall, like it was a really you're five stacking and you don't have any strategy. That's what I'm seeing from here. And you really need to work on your droning skills and being able to identify a weak point in an enemy setup. And that's really it. Well, and this recording and then move on to the next map. Only halfway done.